Hey guys, I've got a few more updates to share from my Sims 4 furry mod. The canine I showed in the last video has a few small updates and additions. I filled in the ear holes just in case someone doesn't want to use the ears. And there's now a curled version of the dog tail. I also changed how textures are handled. Normally they dynamically change with your sim. For example, the muscle definition. But the original way I made the texture, it replaced everything, including those texture details. With this new method, that's retained. Creating skins like this is a little more complicated but you can always use the easier full replacement method if you don't mind losing the dynamic details. The big update for this video is we now have felines. Specifically big cats, like tigers, lions, or pumas. This is a snow leopard skin I made for testing. It has rounded cat ears, large cat tail. Everything is cross compatible so you can have a feline nose with pointy ears and a curled tail or whatever combination you want. A big part of this mod is I wanted as much customization as possible since it's such a huge part of The Sims. Next I'm thinking of tackling lizards, although they might not be ready for the initial release since I haven't started on them yet. I don't actually have a release date in mind, but sometime mid-September at the earliest. The reason being, EA is releasing a new Making Magic expansion in early September, and these updates sometimes break mods, so I want to make sure everything is stable. I should also probably mention the initial release will likely have glitches. For example, I don't own the vampire expansion, so I have no way to test what will happen when a furry turns into a vampire. And that's it for this update. Thanks for watching. Huh? Ah, back in nerve. Oh. Oh, Finn. Ah. Wow. Your boy. Room. Ooh. <laughs> Ow! Dag dag! <laughs>